More than 37 million people around the world are infected with HIV today. Last year, 15 million of those had access to life-saving treatment. But treatment doesn't always work. 10% of patients are resistant to the treatment they're given, and they can't be matched to the correct drugs because drug resistance testing isn't available to them. At Aldatu, we want to change that. When an HIV patient is resistant to their drugs, it causes those drugs to be ineffective, and this has serious negative consequences. First, it means that those patients are at very high risk of transmitting their HIV, and not only HIV, but resistant HIV to others. And it also means that the healthcare system is wasting limited healthcare dollars on incorrect patient drug matching. We believe that everyone should have access to the correct treatment. So we've developed a low-cost drug resistance test called PANDA, which allows clinicians to match all of their patients with the correct drugs at the right time. PANDA adapts an existing technology called real-time PCR to perform focused genotyping, so looking for very specific mutations associated with resistance to antiretroviral drugs. David and I met here at the Harvard Innovation Lab at a Commercializing Your Life Sciences Technology workshop. As it turned out, he had a technology that he was interested in commercializing, but didn't really know how to begin that process. And I was interested in facilitating the process of science commercialization, but didn't really have anything concrete to work with. So after we got talking, we realized that commercializing Panda could have a huge impact on patients' lives. We developed a business plan to the point where we were comfortable enough to apply for the Dean's Health and Life Sciences Challenge, and ultimately went on to win the Bertarelli Prize. Winning the Bertarelli Prize was a very humbling experience, but also one that served as a real stamp of approval. It was a springboard for Aldatu to establish itself within the HIV drug resistance community, and from there develop a number of key partnerships, one of which is in Botswana. Botswana, up until a couple of years ago, had the highest rate of HIV incidence in the world. But it's become a model country because it was the first African country to publicly offer antiretroviral therapy. And since then, it's been a huge success. But if you don't have access to the correct diagnostics, resistance is going to start to increase as more and more people are put on treatment. The product that Aldatu is developing right now will be the first affordable drug resistance genotyping test available in Sub-Saharan Africa. And what this will do is make drug resistance testing cost effective for the healthcare systems that are trying to manage their funds and allocate it across their HIV treatment programs. Here at the Botswana Harvard Days Institute, we've been working on drug resistance for a number of years. And one of those studies was looking at drug resistance in HIV-infected pregnant women. One in 10 had resistance to the drugs that they had initially been prescribed. In these pregnant women that had resistance and got a resistance test, they were quickly switched to the correct drugs, and they all gave birth to HIV uninfected babies. The results show how HIV drug resistance testing can really make a huge difference. Our data's work is extremely important. It's to be able to have very user-friendly diagnostic tests that are going to be affordable and easily adaptable. It's a game changer in terms of the, the way we do drug resistance screening. We can only reach the goal of having an HIV-free generation if everyone has access to HIV drug resistance testing and the correct medication. Ultimately, PANDA can be applied across many different disease areas and can allow for the development of cost-effective solutions beyond HIV. For us, winning the Bertarelli Prize was a huge amount of validation, and it led to us receiving a grant of $1.5 million from the US government, which is allowing us to fully commercialize the PANDA technology. We've been selected for showcases, we're attracting investment, and we're winning awards. But more importantly, it's allowing us to make the change we've always hoped for people living with HIV.